Welcome to A-Train Bets. I'm the A-Train and I make bets. So today we're going to talk about the Odds Jam Low Hold Bets screen. And so this is a screen that I live on, man. This is a place where we do a lot of the, the bets that I do during my live streams. And it is just a really useful place uh, for anyone who's an Odds Jam subscriber to, to really get a lot of value out of the subscription. So what we want to understand first, though, is what how do how is it intended to be used? And then we'll talk about how I actually use it, uh, which is a, a little bit differently. So the key is, so low holds are markets with small house edge. So what, what this is, and the reason that we're going to do it is that these aren't by nature. And what this tool does is not exactly trying to find you opportunities to do positive EV plays. But what it's trying to do is it's to give you places where if you have site credits that are going to expire or you need to run up points on, you know, say there's a points program that you're trying to get to the next tier on, or there's something where it behooves you to get more activity without losing too much money on your bets. This is a good place to do that. And so that's a, um, uh, uh, the the goal of this page is to allow you to see where can I make bets happen at a particular book without losing too much. So it's your manufacturing flow. And there's times where you want to do that. Now, a lot of the times for myself personally, I'm struggling with the opposite problem is that I can't get enough down at places. So I'm certainly not trying to manufacture additional flow, but this is something that will come up when you are trying to get those kinds of points or use a particular promotion or something like that. So keep that in mind that that's what the intent of this screen is. And you can read through uh, all of these screens that Odds Jam has have these help screens and, and additional information available. So what you're going to do when you're using this as it's intended is you're going to go and select the sports book where you have site credit. So in this case, let's pretend we have a site credit and that we want to use. We want to run up some points to get our Caesars rewards. You know, that's something that people might want to do. And you're going to take that and you're going to look at it and you're going to say, okay, where can I do that? And, and in this case, you can select different filters. There's no just standard filters because it actually matters what the filters are for you. And that really there's two filters. You probably leave everything on for the most part, but select books that you have access to. And so I have some selected here, but the, the key is like, I've got Caesars, DraftKings, FanDuel, Fliff. Those are books that I'll frequently play at. And those are ones that we're going to be targeting here. And so the date range, you could probably do this for anything, but it may be important to say, when do you want this bet to occur? Because there may be a time frame in which you need this bet to happen. So it may be something where you want it to be for today or the next seven days. Next, the other key piece to this is going to be just like when we do arbitrages or other bets where we're playing both sides. This is one where your min max odds aren't really about a risk metric. They're about how much do I want to have to offset with, because you'll probably get the higher you make these numbers, the more, um, the, the, the more you might have to place on the other side, but the better off you might be in total. And so that's the thing. You may have to front more money, but you'll probably get a better percentage. And so that's the thing. And so we can clear this one out for now and just say whatever, because it, it'll be actually an interesting thing, especially when we look at some of these crazy lines that might allow us to retain a bit more. But the the mechanics of doing that could be very difficult. So we'll we'll look at that. So what we would have here and we're just going to we'll we'll close this filter screen for the moment. And let's just look at this first one is a good standard example of what you might see. And so you see okay, well, we know we want to play a credit at Caesars. And so we see that we have uh, something's going on at Caesars plus 105. That's interesting. Well, look, there's all these other books. I'm not sure what to do here. Fear not because there's a semi-hidden but really important feature of this page that will help you. It's called Help Me Make This Bet. So you click those three dots to the side and go Help Me Make This Bet. And wouldn't you know it, you have an explanation where this, let's assume you bet $100 on the primary bet with plus 105 odds. Well, that is this Caesars bet that you are trying to make, right? So that is the Caesars bet that you wanted to make because that's what we have filtered for at the top. So... You want to bet that 
with plus 105 odds and then $105.49 on the hedge bet at minus 106 odds. All right. So that's great because in this case, you don't really have to front that much compared to the 100. Now, if you have a $50 bet or if you have a um, $1,000 bet, whatever it is, you can just take a percentage of that and that's very easy to calculate. But what's nice here is that what it's going to show you is your net profit. Granted, you're losing. This is a losing thing, but you're saying the value of making this play has other intrinsic benefits, right? And so you're going to lose 49 cents either way, which isn't a lot on a $100 bet, but it's important to know that this is a losing play. You're guaranteeing a loss for the benefit of something else. Whereas when you're playing an arbitrage, you're guaranteeing a profit because you're playing both sides. So again, this is Ozjam bringing in opportunities that are helping you find, hey, where can I do something that I'm looking to do? And this is a key part of being a sharp sports better. You've got to look for opportunities. You've got to look for promotions. You've got to look for ways. Can Where can I find places to make money that can be supplemented or help be found by the the tools that I'm working with, whether it's Ozjam or anything else. But like this is such a good, powerful tool that's easily overlooked because it's just kind of hiding in plain sight. So understand that help me make this bet is so, so powerful. And I want to show you before I get into how I also use this page, if we go in here, look at this next one. Look at those odds. They're wild, right? They're wild. So let's see what happens when we have wild odds on this. Help me make this bet. Okay, so let's assume you bet $100 at the primary bet with plus 10,000 odds and $10,000 of $49.75 on the hedge bet at minus 20,000 odds. Your net profit is minus 49.75 and your net profit. So you're guaranteeing a $49 loss, but if you're trying to run up points, <laughs> all right, <laughs> look at that. I mean, bet $10,000 and you're running up some points. So there is something to be said for that. If you could get that bet down, which you probably can't because most any, any book is probably not going to let you put $10,000 online because they're guarding against something like this manufacturing points like that. But you could see how powerful that could be if you were able to get down that level of money. And, and in a book like Caesars, where they have relatively high limits across the board, this may be a viable strategy to run up some points. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so there's that. So if you recall, we have other videos on like the arbitrage page and we did uh, one on the free bet conversion um, page as well. What we also do, and so this is a good example because this is where I, I go to this place a lot. The low holds page is where I live. So I'm going to put back in my, um, you know, my minimum odds of minus 250 and maximum odds of plus 250. And now we're going to be able to see the kinds of bets that we would normally be looking at. Now, we've already done our, our live show for this morning and gone through some of these things. But if we look at it, now we can see we have a um, player strikeouts prop here or yeah, player strikeouts prop that we have. And we're saying, you know, I wonder if just like in the arbitrage screen, the um, just like in the arbitrage screen, we might be able to do a uh, one side of the bet as plus money or plus EV. And on the other side of the bet, we might be able to have a hedge. Is that possibly what's going on here? Well, let's see. So in this case, we're going to bring up what I call the money machine, which is just a calculator based on the odds jam calculators that they already have. And I'm going to run through some numbers. And so we're going to add in the average odds here that we can see on this list down here. So you can see down here is the average odds. And then I'm going to add in some known sharp books to help give us a sense of what, what should this market be and are there any outliers to it? So in this case, we have bet online at minus 167 and 128, and you have pinnacle at minus 141 and 106. And so in this case, what we see is no, there's not really a positive EV play to be made here because there is a positive EV side of this, but it's not quite good enough. So let's just hypothesize instead of minus 130, this was minus 125, which it could very well be. Then you would have an opportunity to go make a play that was just a positive EV play. And that is exactly what we use this screen for a lot of the time, because we're saying, and what we'll typically do is on the filter setting here, we'll just make it all because we're looking for wherever can we find good positive EV opportunities and we'll see, 
you know, where where are those and, and what can we do? So th- that's where we'll just go through these numbers and we'll be looking at it. And like in this case is one that we've already played. And this one is uh, coming up still. Um, and we're looking for, you know, this one's probably a good example. Let's look at this one. So if we're running the numbers on this, you're looking at 105 minus 105. So those are the, the odds that we can actually play a bet at we'll have minus 119 on the average minus 119 on the average and then we'll see is there any other sharp books not really so we'll just use the market average odds on this one and we'll clear out any other calculations we'll say yeah there is an 85 dollars play over at FanDuel based on my kelly criteria and my my calculations here the details of this are less important but this is just how we can see what makes up a bet like this on the low holds page typically is going to be a, a bet that's better than the average and that's going to help us save some money when we're betting low holds, but it also gives us positive EV opportunities that we can look for. So that's the same thing that we do. The positive EV screen from OddsJam does exactly that. But sometimes the read of the market is such that it may be hard to pull that into the positive EV screen. And maybe the there's different data available when I'm running through this that now I can find opportunities that may not show up on that main screen for whatever reason. The algorithms don't quite catch it, whereas we looking at it more manually can. So that's an opportunity with the low hold screen that we use with these kind of calculators. And if you want to use these calculators yourself, you know, they're, they're all right here. I mean, you can go in and you can find an expected value calculator and you can see, okay, well, if I want to play place $100, the win probability of something, you can go back in and factor it in. That's where I just say, okay, I want to have it in a spreadsheet or in a calculator of my own design that allows me to run those numbers much faster. But it's the same math underneath. My number one recommendation to people as you're getting into this and understanding it, and you know, you can go over to the positive VV screen as well and see how those things are being outlined and um, brought in. So if we bounce over to the positive VV screen real quick, you're going to see the same kinds of calculations happening on this positive EV screen that we're doing manually. Well, we're doing it manually just on another source of odds. So it's the same deal. It's the same thing. So my number one advice to people who are getting into this and learning about these different screens, these different tools that Odds Jam has, to me, it's go through those calculators, learn and understand the math. You don't have to understand all the intricacies of every little calculation, but understand which each thing means. Build your own spreadsheet that can help you work the way you want to work in doing this. If you're going to take it seriously as a side hustle, as a hobby, become as good at it as you can be. Don't just make the plays. Understand why. Understand the plays. And that's where I think once you start working with low holds, there's a whole avenue of where you can find real value, real monetary value. If you could go to Caesars and stay for free because of all the points you've racked up, wouldn't that be an interesting thing to do? So that's the kind of thing that you may want to pursue. Now, again, it may be a true positive VV opportunity or may just be a great way to find, you know, and fund a vacation, right? This might be a good time to do that. So whatever you want to use it for, that is where I think you you should be focusing your efforts. But nobody's going to do it for you. These are all tools. And that's one of the other big things that I would recommend is you keep in mind is that the tools that OddsJam provides are just that. They're tools. You can use those tools in a number of different ways. You can use those tools in creative ways. And if you can find opportunities that are different and unique and that not everybody's doing, anybody can go to the positive EV screen and type in numbers and go make bets. But can you find ways to use the tools that OddsJam provides and use them in a creative way that can find money-making opportunities. Now you're really becoming a sharp sports better. And that's what we're here to help you become, right? And so that's where I'm creating these videos, helping to give you introductions, helping to get you thinking about what also could you do. And that's what I do on my live streams. I do live streams 7.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. Central Time every day, Monday through Friday, and then also on the weekends as time allows. I'm trying to show you my work, showing you where do I place my bets? How do I place my bets? How do I do the analysis? And while you can tail some of my bets and do the same bets, more importantly, you can learn how I'm thinking about it and think about it and think through that situation for yourself and extend that and become a sharp sports better on your own. So please do check out those live streams. Please do check out my other content, like, and subscribe to this channel. And if you are interested in odds jam, please do consider using my link. A train bets, odds jam.com will take you there, or you can find the link at atrainbets.com and you can use promo code a train bets to save 20% off for life at odds jam. And if you do that, if you use those codes, you can get the money machine that I show the calculator on this, whatever the current version is, because I keep enhancing it, improving it as you'll see on the live streams, but you'll get the current version of that 
as long as you're a Knowledge Jam subscriber, and, and you'll have that for free. So I don't charge for that. You can have that if you're using my affiliate link. That's all. And so if you want to get that and not sign up for Odds Jam, you already have Odds Jam, you can, use, uh, you can join the Patreon. Certainly appreciate anyone who joins the Patreon, uh, even when they already have Odds Jam with my code. But like, for me, it's about helping you become a sharper sports better and getting past this world of touts where it's like, I have the big brain. Please follow my picks and pay me for it. No, don't do that. Learn how you can do this, too. You don't need to know a ton of sports trivia to be a sharp sports better better this is more about math this is more about analysis this is more about data analytics than it is about sports knowledge so learn that understand watch the content you'll get it and you'll be making some money in no time so with that thank you so much for checking out this content like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one Bye -bye.